Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Gute Nacht, wherever you're watching me from. If this is your first time to join me, you are welcome. And if you have been following me from the very start, thank you for sticking with me. I believe that these lessons have been very helpful to you and look forward to more resource of this video. So, Guten Morgen means good morning. I know you might be watching me. You might be watching me from a different a different continent, and the time zones are quite different. So in today's video, there are quite a number of videos. Now there are eighteen number. So by the time you watch this, this is going to be the ninth. So if you have watched me up to this far, I know that we have gone through greetings, familiar stuff how to know your status different nationalities from all over the world so i expect you to be in the know of these uh, what we share in the videos and the other thing that i need to remind you about is practice please practice whatever you learn don't just hold it please use it by speaking by sharing it by saying it and practicing it with a partner or if you need to write to me the answers because i normally give homework you can send these answers to my email the email is jollynachibirango at gmail.com so for consultation please go there and in today's video we are looking at the family so in english we do have family members where we have the father mother brother sister but do you know how to say these family members out in german okay so in today's lesson, that is what we are going to cover. It is a brief lesson, but very in-depth. So we'll start with the head of the family, who is the father. And for masculine sense, you are going to see where we come out with the articles of D and DER. Okay, so we have DER for masculine and D for feminine. Okay, and then we have DAS because you'll find that there are these nouns which have das. So in German, it is easy to know what a noun is because it starts with a capital letter. Well, in English, a, cap a noun is in a small letter. So we normally use uh, nouns, capital letters in German for nouns. And in, and in English, we use capital letters for proper nouns. Okay, so today we're starting with Der Vater. Der Vater is father. Die Mutter is mother. Der Sohn, der Sohn is son. And then die Tochter, die Tochter is daughter. We have der Bruder, der Bruder. We have die Schwester. Die Schwester, der Onkel, der Onkel, die Tante, or aunt. Der Onkel is uncle, die Tante is aunt. Then we have der Großvater, der Großvater, or der Groß, der Großvater, or Opa. In German, you can say Opa to mean grandfather. Der Großvater. Opa means grandfather. Die Oma or die Großmutter is grandmother because we get the Mutter for mother and then Gross for grand. Okay. So we have their cousin. Their cousin, which means your male cousin, and the cousine, or the female cousin. Their cousin, and the cousine, or cousin. Then we have their nephew. Their nephew is nephew. The nichte. The nichte is your niece. Nichte is niece. Nife is nephew. We have their Eheman. Their 
Ehemann husband der Ehemann is husband die Ehefrau Ehefrau means wife der Freunde der Freunde der Freund der Freund is boyfriend Freund is boyfriend then Freundin Freundin is girlfriend Freund, 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 then the Freundin is girlfriend. We also have, now that's where we bring in the Das, that is a neuter. Das Kind, Das Kind, that is child. Then we also have Das Baby, okay? Das Kind und Das Baby, so a child and baby so these ones you don't say it is it is a neutral and it can work by neuter means it can work for both masculine and feminine okay masculine and feminine so it that what's made that that is a neuter that is a neuter article so we have um the ashbrega the Ashvega is your brother in law. The Ashvega, the Shvegare. The Ashvega is your brother in law. The Shvegare is your sister in law. We have their stiefvater. Stiefvater is your stepfather. The stiefmutter is your stepmother 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 so stiff father stiff mother stiff brother step brother stiff uh stiff schwester step step sister zon 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 stiff zon and stiff doctor that means stiff is your step Okay, so we are pushing on. So basically, that is uh, how we say everything in German. That is the family, family members. Okay, family members: mother, father, son, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, step-sister-in-law, uh, and everyone we've looked at. Baby, child. So the question would be: How would you ask for a question? How would you ask for a family member in German? So we have both the informal and the formal, okay? So we said, has to do, that is the informal, has to do einen Bruder, has to do eine Schwester. So let us look at something unique here. In, um, in learning this language, in asking these questions, we have the informal setting. We said the informal setting is where you use say jolly, that is informal. The moment you say jolly, we'll know that that goes with the do, okay? And then the conjugation changes. But if you're saying Frau Nachibirang, which means uh, Lady Nachibirang or Mr. or Mrs. Mrs. is for Mrs lady, you mean lady, Mrs. Nachibirango or Miss Nachibirango, you would say that it comes with Frau, and that is, uh, Frau comes with Frau or hair, even with a sun name, it comes with, uh, it comes with the Z form, which is a formal. So, has to do einen Bruder, or the has to do eine Schwester. So, when we're using the feminine, okay, we want to ask a question. Ein is one, but ein, one, a brother. Ah, the article a ah in English, we have it with uh, feminine or masculine, and even in neuter form. So if I ask for a brother, one is, a ah is ein. But to know that we are looking at female, we just know that this, we are, we just, for female, 
for iron we add e and for masculine we add e n iron and then for das it remains ein okay so to know you will know them by ein einen or eine so when we are looking at females we will use eine and if we're asking questions in masculine sense we'll add en so that is why you you, you say has to do einen bruder has to do einen vater has to do einen schwager has to do einen gross vater because that is masculine and if we are asking in the formal sense haben sie einen vater haben sie einen bruder haben sie einen sohn because you're looking at the masculine then we go to the other side which brings in the female side or feminine side so you're using has to do eine has to do eine schwester has to do eine mutter has to do eine tochter has to do eine schwägerin has to do eine nichte has to do eine it has to be eine for the feminine side okay then we go to kind kind which is child has to do ein kind do you have a child ein kind okay so that is we follow through then we want to see um we want to see how how uh plural plural form of say i have parents parents are called elton 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 so those ones because they are plural you don't have to put an article when you're asking the question you don't have to put an article so it's habenzi for for the formal sense habenzi elton for grandparents parents rather habenzi elton those are parents elton is parents or has to do elton that is the informal sense haben sie elton or has to do elton how about if you're asking for children has to do kinder or haben sie kinder kinder is children but das kind is das kind is neuter it's a neuter and it means for child so one child is das it's called kind but for many children have you to have you any children you will ask haben sie haben sie kinder okay so haben sie geschwister your brother's sibling do you have any siblings siblings is geschwister 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 is your siblings haben sie geschwister okay geschwister is your siblings and we have gross elton remember we said grandfather grandmother we put gross so we have gross father and gross mother but here all combined because these are parents grandparents so grand we said parents we said elton so we add gross in combination we have gross elton so grandparents are gross elton so the question goes haben sie gross elton haben sie gross elton or has to do gross elton do you have grandparents okay then uh, we also have enkel kinder enkel kinder is grandchildren remember kinder is for children in plural so enkel not onkel because onkel is onkel we said is uncle 
but Enkel is grandchildren. Enkel Kinder is grandchildren. Habenzi, Enkel Kinder, Hast du Enkel Kinder. Okay, then you can respond ish ya yeah, ish if you have grandchildren you can say ya yeah, ish habe gross king ish habe gross elton ish habe enkel kinder ish habe ish habe desh vista i have siblings basically you can answer if it's no nine ish habe Kain. Now remember we used kaine for female, okay? We use aine rather. We used aine for the female feminine side. Ich habe einen eine Schwester. Ich habe eine Mutter. So when you don't have sibling or any of that on the female side, the ver the word there is kain. No, not to have. Ich habe kein. No, which means no children, no sisters, no brothers. No, it means no. Okay, but you're going to add if it's kind. If you use the masculine side, and you don't have a brother, remember if you have, you say you had. Ich habe einen Vater. So if you don't have nine, nine is for no. Nine, ich habe keinen, keinen Vater. I don't have a father. Keinen will mean I know, but in a masculine sense. Und keine, und keine will mean no in a feminine sense. So if you do not have any of the feminine, se feminine pattern of your family, then you will use ich have nine no i don't have a sister nine ich habe keine keine schwester ich habe keine gross mutter ich habe keine schwägerin ich habe keine nichte for niece okay so you can see the combination there how about for many friends? You remember we said boyfriend is their friend and girlfriend is the friending. So how about for the many? So for many friends who are male, you will say their friend. Their friend, friend, and then you add E, makes it friend, which means many friends who are boys okay and then freundinnen will mean many friends who are girls okay so let us look at those differences let us practice with them so this is homework so you're going to go back from wherever we because we've been moving we looked at where you come from each come aus Remember, ich komme aus here, you say where you come from. Ich wohne here, where you live. Yeah, okay, so where you live. So we are going to write your favorite person, okay, in the family. Meine, meine, to mean my. Favorite person, meine Lieblingsperson. My Lieblingsperson ist. So you say your favorite person is by is I mean my libling my libling's person is so you write so is it your mother so if it's your mother where does she come from and where does she live and then you add you know how many brothers or see how many geshevista do you have Okay. So for today, we'll just, uh, how many languages does that person speak? Okay. So for today's homework, we'll look at just where they come from, where they live, how many languages they speak, how many Geshe said do you have, or how many people are you in your family? 
So you can say we the number that we have is this. We'll finalize with that. So if you have answers, you're going to write to me an email. Put the name and in you put your name in the in the in the reference where you write your title and then you can write your answers in the text of the email and send your answers to jolinachibirango at gmail.com thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe please remember to like and share this video